up guys it's me Pikachu gaming it's been over two weeks man my last video all the ice variants in PvZ Dawn Warfare that video was uploaded two weeks ago I probably have to make a quick update oh yeah guys um hmm other than that I'm really sorry for not uploading for quite some time. The reason why is because um, I had I had to actually I was actually really busy with celebration. I had to celebrate some stuff, and also I had I had to deal with school as well. So yeah, life it doesn't really have this free time. But in summer, I swear. I promise you guys, I'm gonna actually upload more videos. I'm gonna try to upload daily. So yeah, uploading daily will be a challenge for me. Well, I like taking a break after uploading, making a video, and then I have to upload, and I have to actually edit it, and then it's the same day I have to edit it, which is day two. I have to now upload it to YouTube. So I'm currently on like I believe seven subscribers right now. I used to be like on eight. I don't I don't I don't know, don't blame me. But yeah. I'm playing currently gonna play Terraria for a pretty long time I would say. I want Terraria to be my main focus. I was gonna do I was gonna do um, more, however now that doesn't But anyways guys so I have, uh, it's been a pretty long time, so I'm going to celebrate it with fighting Duke Fitchron. So, I'm going to do two comparisons right here. I'm going to do with the, the Flareon, which is, which is said to be probably one of the best, uh, which is said to be one of the best, um, uh, um, lot flare ons in the game. I think it's flare. I don't know what it's like, but but yeah, as you can see right there, I'm he's already at half health right now. I, oh, okay, never mind. He's actually at like a pretty, he's pretty much at a quarter of his health right now. That's how strong this dang weapon is. And uh, yeah, last time, um. Yeah, look at that. It was really easy. I have probably one of the best versions of it. So yeah, I have one of the best versions, and that's the godly one. So I'm gonna sell that. Um, my set here is one 108 defense, and I have eight. Yeah, I have currently eight, 118 defense, and that is a lot. Now, uh, if you guys are wondering, then if you play on that, what do you have? What do you? What console are you playing it on? Now, that's a good question. I play on the PS3. I don't play on the PS4. Don't ask me why. And if I'm playing on the PS3. Do we still have uh, that exclusive content? Of course, yes. Uh, and before I tell you more, I'm gonna, this is um the this is a part with the Terrorblade. This the strongest sword in the game. Uh. So yeah, do we still have? Uh, do we still have it? Uh, yes, of course we do. Still have it actually. Um, and if we still have it, why do we, why, like, do they still update the game? No, they, they don't update the PS3 version anymore because, well, it's an old generation console, so why would you update it? And also due to hardware failures, according to the wiki, that's why it pretty much, it pretty, that's why it pretty much does not continue. The strongest boss on the PlayStation 3, 
or old generation consoles uh, is the uh, it, oh, the strongest one is Duke Fish Rana. Um, yeah. Yeah, look at my regeneration right now. I'm regenerating pretty, pretty fast actually, which is pretty much a good thing actually. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Now, as you can see right here, the Flareons can kill Duke Fishrun way faster. Way faster. I mean, fast. Yeah, I'm gonna probably die here. So yeah, I'm just gonna be silent here until the fight is over. Man, I hate those with the tornadoes. Ah, I hate doing fish on. So yeah, I'm telling you this, uh, the Terra Blade, yeah, I did this the last time I fought him, it w I got pretty unlucky here. So, today's episode is going to be me fighting, fighting the pumpkin. So, I've been, uh, I've been recent, as you can see right here, there's a chest named here, the, the pumpkin armory. Sarcasm? <laughs> no. And it basically has everything. Probably one of the strongest, uh, it probably has one of the strongest, um, it has one of the strongest summoners weapon, summoners, uh, and, and rangers, and, and magic. Now, Oh, if you see over here, I have the Spectre Hood right here. You might think that it's better to actually equip the, the Spectre Mask, however... Uh, when, when you're a mage character, you're most like, you're very vulnerable. So it's better to actually, uh, so it's better to actually be, to actually have, uh, um, the, the mask. It's better to have uh, the hood instead. So, yeah. Let's talk about, in the meanwhile, let's talk about some history here. Um, now, first thing we're going to be talking about is the, the armor. The armor is very bad, okay? It's so bad. Now, we're, we're going to go back to 1.1 here. Okay, I'm not playing 1.1, I'm playing 1.2.4. Now, back in 1.1, uh, they sh back in the day, they struck a deal so they can make console version of Terraria. And you can skip forward here. They made the, they made uh, some bad respite, respites, uh, and they added dragon armor, spectral armor, and titan armor. These armors look cool, but they're not cool. So yeah, and guess what? Yeah. So yeah, skipping forward a bit. Compare them to turtle armor, um, spectre armor, and uh, shroomite armor, and turtle armor. These three armor sets are pretty bad. I would tell you that for sure. They're pretty bad. They're actually pretty bad. So since they're rather bad. Nobody really wanted crafting as well. They made it so difficult to obtain them. They're actually like I want to show you here. That's kind of odd. Oh, yeah. 
Well, how is that's pretty strange. I don't know why it's not there. But yeah. They were rather difficult to obtain and they weren't even worth it. Like I I would advise you to not go for them. They're pretty trash, I'll tell you that for sure. However, this I have the dragon mask. Guess what? The dragon mask is the strongest mask in Terraria history. What I mean with this, I mean uh, they were actually this thing is actually okay, take a look over here. I have Beetle armor that gives me 23. This does not, and that gives me 26. Chlorophyte, the, the chlorophyte mask. Well, let's, let's find it right here. Yeah, right here it gives me 25, and yet this thing gives me 26. So you know what? So yeah, and that thing is actually stronger. So I'm gonna skip forward the video. So yeah. So right here guys, uh, I'm gonna be fighting, I've been trying to fight the Pumpkin Moon for a pretty long time. Like, I wanted, I just wanted to take, to get the Jack-O-Lantern Launcher, I wanted to get all of the weapons uh, for it, and guess what, I have pretty much all of them, I just need one more, and that is, uh, and that is the Jack-O-Lantern Launcher, nothing, that bad boy is, is, Pretty good, I would say. Not the best, but it's pretty good for a really long time. So yeah, I'm about eight three. As soon as the bosses start to come. That's when I'm actually gonna. That's when I'm. That's why actually when I'm going to. Uh, um, yeah. That's that's when I'm gonna actually start uh, using uh, the flare on. And right here, the flare on basically just takes them out so quickly. Man. Takes out more and more. So easily, uh, it's basically look like butter, honestly. How could this happen to me? And as long as you can get to like a distance where they can, where they can still uh, use their um, spray ability, but not so far, not too close, or not too far, you can actually and repeatedly hit them like this. Uh, um, yeah, you can actually really just exploit uh, how the game actually works, man. Like around this distance, he would. Around this distance is, is pretty good, actually. And, that, and that's how you. And you can now every this thing over here deals 117 damage. For me, of course. Now uh, every now that's just one. Okay, that's just one. I think that's the flare on itself that actually launches. Uh, 
и uh, the the detonate the detonated detonation the, the explosives on it actually count as its own. So as you can see right there, I'm dealing with like a hundred damage most of the time, and I'm dishing out tons and tons of damage. And those two are ancient, I'll tell you that for sure. Okay, let's fight Pumpkin right now. Let's just see how strong is this thing really, really is. And th let's see, it doesn't like a horde of them. Let's just like take them out so easily. Make them look like butter. Wait until Pumpkin arrives. Here comes the pumpkin. Uh, just Look at that. I'm dealing dishing out so much damage. I'm allowing it to hit me. But yeah, like that's how OP this th this thing is. <clears throat> it's also rather fast. Now, I'm going to use my Horseman's Blade when he gets close like this, and I'm just going to be dishing out so much damage like this, punishing the freaking pumpkin, pumpkin, and that's how you take him out like a boss. That's not very dust. That sucks. That's not kind of not worth it, actually. Sorry if I'm like actually quiet for most of the time. Yeah, it's probably because like I don't really have anything really to say. I actually really just want to focus actually. I'll concentrate trying to kill the pump pumpkin and fighting the pumpkin winner. I think I think I'm at wave 11 right now. That's what I mean, this weapon is pretty much as strong as I would say. The reason why I'm also fighting Pumpkin only is because I just want to go through the waves faster. Take it, always just try and go for the strongest enemies. In my case, that's two pumpkins. Thousands 
steak lunch at last. No steak lunch. Like a party down there. Drops become more common in wave 15. Oh yeah, wave th wave 14. Let's go. No steak launcher down there. New regeneration. Going for the bosses because I want to go through this way fast. And there's a lot of horsemen. And trust me, those guys are really strong. Oh boy, oh boy. Here comes Pumpkin. Die. Come on, screw you! Why do you have to be that rude? Oh, one of the morning boys are pretty close to dying. And one is dead. Two bones. Oh, come on. It was one of them. Also, I just kind of want to get the pumpkin mask. Alright, he's done. And some money. Yeah, that's for the end, so why? So I got the steak launcher right here, guys. So this thing deals pretty good damage, I would say. And it's a steak ammo. That's the one that time was. I don't really care about that. The one I'm more interested in ha is just having these, the, these two really. So yeah, guys, I think that's really that wraps up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will try to upload more to summarize the video. I've got the steak launcher. I'm gonna try to go for the. I'm gonna try to go. I got four extra. That's kind of funny, but anyways, I'm gonna go for more. <coughs> no, that's pretty. That's pretty cool, actually. But anyways, um, I'm gonna try to go for Duke Fishron. And before I end the video here, I'm actually gonna just fight the twins. So you guys can actually understand how powerful I am. The twins are pretty difficult to say. But yeah, see you guys on the next one. Yeah, right now I'm playing as my mage character. Well, actually, mage set. Because if you didn't watch, you just saw.
And there goes down, and that, and there goes red and tizer. And there, he, and there goes the twins. Uh, yeah, I, I do got potential to be very strong. Here. Shit. That's it, guys. If you guys enjoy that video, peace out.